All right, so today we are, uh, we just actually turned it on inside the application. So you guys, when you log in, if you're a tier two or tier three reseller uh, partner, you'll have access to our new virtual business card app builder, which is, uh, you know, which we've always had the ability to create your own virtual business card apps. And it's certainly a great tool for, uh, and, and worked great. And I've, you know, had one for like five years probably. But um, it was a little difficult to do and it's hard to scale it. And it was hard to like monetize it really because, you know, it took so much, um, it was so complicated. And then if you sold somebody like a virtual business card app, you know, by itself, that was kind of complicated to use. But now it's the way that we built it. It's like in, in one very easy to use tool that anybody can use and there's not like any custom anything. It's, and it's awesome. So I'm going to show that to you today. Um, for those of you that haven't seen me, this is me. And this is my daughter Wrigley. I just thought I'd leave that slide on there. I made that slide the other day. Um, you guys have seen some of these stats, but I've got some new ones for you. So uh, if anybody doesn't have this slide, I'll post this um, PowerPoint in the back office. I've actually got some a lot of updated PowerPoints. Whatever, 58. I'm cute. I'm the cute one. She's okay. Um, the... Uh, <laughs> the uh, I've actually got some new decks. I'll try to put some back there. Somebody was asking me about that the other day. Um, John, make a note to remind me to get you some of those decks, and we'll put some new ones back there for some different industries. So I definitely have some stuff. Okay, so what I just one of the things that I've been talking about with different um, different companies in some of my recent uh, presentations and webinars is how you know database building is so vitally important and that the companies that have really grown over the last few years have done a fantastic job in terms of growing their current database of their current customers growing databases of potential customers and that's capturing people's information through various points of contact right some businesses thrive on the web and so they drive a lot of traffic to their websites and they do a great job of lead capture Maybe that's squeeze pages. Maybe that's just, you know, enroll here for a webinar, enroll here for a PDF, and capturing email addresses. And the value of those email addresses is great. You know, some people have done a great job of building, you know, their, their Twitter or their the number of people that like them or like their business on Facebook. That's great. Um, you know, people have done a, a great job through point-of-sale campaigns or lo creating their own loyalty programs or leveraging someone else's loyalty programs to capture databases of their current clients. But one of the some a lot of the smaller businesses out there, and, and there's a real opportunity here. And I can tell you from just personally, I probably in the last few weeks have talked to more just regular business owners as I've walked around town, going into different places, and talked to them about their business growth strategies and, and people I ran into, the person that cuts my hair, things of that nature. And I can tell you that a lot of them really still are very clueless in terms of how to build databases and how to do it quickly. Um, I'm going to talk more about why we, I, we've been spending so much time the last month talking about mobile-first strategies, how Google has come out, their CEO has come out and said, you know, if you're not Google first, you're not doing it right. Um, if you're, uh, uh, Forbes came out with an article about, uh, just in like in the last 30 days, about mobile-first strategies. We're building databases and growing and having a mobile-first strategy um, for everything that you do. Um, so we know databases are important. You know from listening to me over the years how many times that I have discussed how important it is to build mobile databases of people. A lot of people spend a lot of time on Facebook, but here's part of the Facebook problem right now is that when you go to post something on Facebook from your fan page, nobody sees it. And I know personally, I just put something out there like uh, last Thursday, you know, and I saw I got seven impressions out of like, I don't know, a few thousand people that would, you know, that should be able to see what I post. But of course, Facebook wants me to pay for it. And they, you know, want to charge us. And we've done that a few times. But the problem is here, this is my database that I built. But actually, Facebook really owns that database. And now that I've got to pay to play, I've got to pay to leverage my own databases. Is this where we want? And this is, think about businesses. What are they promoting right now when you walk into them? What are they promoting on their menu? Um, they're saying, hey, like us on Facebook. Well, really, who gives a crap, right? Um, mm -hmm. that, that would be great, but there's certainly a lot better, a uh, lot better things that you could do. Um, for instance, building a mobile database, right? 
how about email? We always talk about email and we always say, well, email is great and it is very good and businesses can make money off email, but how much bigger and better is mobile? And this just drives the point home. This is from Constant Contact, recent uh, 2014 uh, stats, and you guys can have this just to look at, but it's pretty awesome. You know, average open rates by industry. I mean, if anybody, you know, is not, you know, if anybody's talking to a restaurant, um, where's that over here? 16.69% open rates. Um, what's the uh, click-through rate of 4%? Um, they will get uh, 10 times the click-through rates on a mobile coupon, and we know they'll get, what, five times better? of an open rate on their on their text messages delivered now go in and 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 sell them a mobile first strategy and show them some of these other statistics and get them excited about that right so um ceo of google talking about talking about mobile first mobile mobile mo mobile being the mantra i just threw in a couple of these a couple actual direct quotes here you know um 5.2 billion uh, cell phone subscribers five times more than PCs. Um, there are only a billion automobiles registered in use, <laughs> 1.7 billion credit card users, but literally everybody has a mobile phone, right? We know that. Um, there's 4.2 billion people that are active SMS users, right? 4.2 billion. Um, that's three times bigger than number of people that have an active email account which we think everybody's got an email account, but actually far more people just you know use text messaging. Seven times bigger than Facebook, right? So you're literally talking about seven times the reach of Facebook. And that's what it's about, especially when it comes... So I can't break down the utility of this tool any better than saying it's about accessibility and reach at the same time. Accessibility because it's on my person at all times, and it's on my sales team's person at all times and reach because it's the lowest common denominator of technology everybody can text message everybody has a phone I can deliver my information to them right now right to their phone via text message and I can get them to click a link and go right to my mobile site and watch my videos and look at whatever it is and not just me but you can do that too and so can any business out there and I'm going to show you some of those businesses by the way, if nobody subscribes to Mobile Commerce Daily, um, you might consider doing that. Um, mobile Commerce Daily comes out with new articles every day. Today's was really interesting. Um, eight out of ten retailers increased their mobile budgets in 2015, and it talks about you know going how a lot of businesses are going away from you know once again there's additional evidence that supports mobile web over mobile apps according to a recent report. And a lot of people are downplaying the significance of their native app development and focusing more on their mobile strat on their mobile web strategies. What's interesting is, you know, obviously big companies like, you know, I don't know, Aldo or Bed Bath and Beyond or any of those kinds of companies, they're gonna invest heavily in um, you know, with very big companies on very sophisticated responsive web design right? We know this responsive meaning somebody goes from a desktop computer to the website, they're going to get the desktop version, but when they go to a smaller device, it takes that exact same version, but formats it to fit their uh, device that they're on, the size of the screen that they're on, and, oh, and looks great and an easy shopping experience. But um, for mobile commerce, mobile, they, they oftentimes will go with actually two sites, really M dot sites. Um, where they're actually delivering a different version of their site, not responsive. And a lot of times they'll invest 100000 or more in their e-commerce, and they're continuing that investment as time goes on every year to continue to make it even better and smarter and faster and easier for their consumers to use. But how does that, that works for all of us? Because all of us can do mobile commerce and leverage that. And I'm talking about salons and just regular insurance people and people that you know every single day, they can leverage the tools that we have in out of the box and do all of these things. Lead capture and have great open rates on the messages they send out, an easy to use dashboard and, and have e-commerce themselves. A lot of you have seen this slide before. All of you hopefully have a virtual business card app on your phone right now and you use it. Um, any business 
and I'm going to show you the interface in just a second. Any business can upload their app icon, upload their logo, um, and they can have this virtual business card that's got a form. People type a so so from the very ba basics. You or your sales team has an app icon on their phone. How is business done in the real world? You're standing there talking to somebody at a trade show, at a restaurant, at a um, at church, at a t-ball game. And when you run into that person, you, they say, hey, how's it going? How's, how's things been? How you been doing? And with every business, you say, yeah, it's been great. You know, they're like, how's business? Oh, business is good. What are you doing now? Well, then I start telling them about what I'm doing now. But I don't just tell them, and I certainly don't hand them a paper business card and cross my fingers and hope and pray that they'll eventually make it to my website. Instead, what I do is say, well, actually, you know, what we do is, you know, mobile communication. And, uh, you know, we work with people on, on mobile first database building strategies. Uh, you know, it, here, let me give you my card real quick and you can actually see a little bit more. And they go, oh, cool. And you go, yeah, we actually use virtual business cards. And then you hit your app, your app on your phone. The potential customer types their mobile number right there. Well, what they get is a text message, an optional second text message. The first text message is, of course, your information, your name, your company name, mobile phone number, email address, and a link to wherever you want it to go. Now, that link could take you to your mobile site. Or if we're selling this to other people, which we are, it could take, if this was a, uh, a, a lady that owns her own salon, or that works in a salon but has to build her own business. She would deliver her information, her company name, her phone number, her email address, and a link to her mobile site. If it's a merchant services company, it'll take them to a page that talks about their merchant services. If it's a realtor, it's going to say name, email address, phone number, uh, and a link right to his listings. It could be his mobile site that he's already got. It could be the real estate program that you've got inherent in the system. If it's a network marketing company person, think Mary Kay, think um, Avon, think any network marketing person that you run into, you know eight of them right now on your Facebook that you could personally call and that would buy this tool from you in a second. If they could stand around when they're at t-ball games and they're at practice and they could hand, click their app on their phone, send somebody a text message, and then while they're still standing there, have them click that link. Because this is what we call an extension of a conversation. I'm standing there talking to somebody. I send them my virtual business card, just like I was just going through that little scenario where I'm talking and I'm like, yeah, let me give you my card. Well, then I send it to them and then I go, go ahead and click that link. And then they're, they're like, yeah, you know, um, uh, I have them go ahead and watch a video or I have them click through to the product and they're, you know, watching the video about that product. And it doesn't matter if I'm a merchant services company or what I am. Now I'm extending the conversation. I'm extending credibility. I'm not just standing here going, yeah, this is what I do. You know, go to my site or later on I'll email you information that you won't ever look at. Instead, while I'm still standing here having a conversation with you, now is the optimal time to get you really excited. We know other things about a, a presentation or an opportunity to educate somebody about what you do. One is that if I stand here and I just verbally tell you, this is what I do, that you only remember about 10% of that the following day. We know that if I show you with visual aids where you can click on it and you can see, actually see my products and you can watch a video about it and you can like, you know, see the pretty pictures and, you know, look at my listings or, you know, whatever it is. If you can see it, I've doubled the retention. I've doubled how well you remember that conversation. Because when you run into me at a trade show or you run into me at the bar, the likelihood of you remembering me tomorrow when I send you an email and follow up with you is, is not that great. And we know. The hottest time that we've got a prospect, the easiest time to close, is when they're right in front of us looking at us. What the Virtual Business Card App tool does is it extends that presentation, adds more credibility, adds visual aid, because while I'm standing there in front of them, I have them click through and look at the actual information. And then while they're looking at the information, I can get them to click on in and potentially go ahead and check out and, and buy now for $28.25 a month by this product and close them while I'm standing there looking at them right from the mobile website that I just sent them right to their phone. That's M-Commerce.
getting it right to people's phones and getting them to check out right now. Now with a new tool, I'm going to show it to you in just a second, there's an optional second message where somebody where you can send a second text message with your virtual business card and it automatically delivers a link where they can save the contact information right into the phone. Now when they click that link, it automatically downloads a file and on an iPhone or an Android or Windows phone, it's a VCF file. All the person has to do is click on the file they downloaded and then open it up and then hit save and it actually populates all of your information into their phone in the correct categories. So they don't have to like copy and paste that text message and then go back to the text message and then go back to their contact. They can literally just click that link and save the, your information right into their phone. And so it, it, it truly is a virtual business card. There's one more optional piece to it, and I'm going to flip back and forth from the deck to the application here in just a second. But there's this demo, uh, not demo apps, there's a button that you can have at the bottom that can say whatever you want it to say and can link to wherever you want it to link. And so it's just optional for any person using this to be able to do whatever it is that they want to do. Let's take a look at the application real quick. So you can, when you create a new client, you sell a V card to somebody, you can um, give them just accounts and settings where all they see is my account, my settings, my statements, my users. Tutorial videos where all they see is uh, accounts and settings client, which we have a new one on, on that one. Um, where they can see just a, a vCard tutorial, which I don't have enabled on this particular account, but we've got a new tutorial page that's vCard only. So, so literally under tutorial videos, all they have is accounts and settings and vCard. And under their main menu, all they have is accounts and settings, tutorial videos, and vCard, or vCard and mobile websites, potentially, if you sell them both. But if they just have vCard, what do they have? Well, so you sign somebody up. And you can sign them up right from your phone, right when you're standing in front of them, for $9.99 a month if you want to. Or $19.99 a month, and they get a, a mobile website app as well as a virtual business card. Whatever. So they get a vCard account. When they log in, what do they do? They click vCard. And they click My vCards. And here, <coughs> excuse me, here they go right here and they hit Create a New One. When they create a new one, it can't be more simple. All they do is name it, whatever their name is or whatever. They put in their name. They put in their company name. Uh, they put in their mobile number, email address. Their website, whatever their website is. However many, if they're going to opt people in and send them future messages, then this is what puts the, the this uh, modifies the disclaimer. So on any virtual business card, right, there's the disclaimer that dis is displayed right underneath here. And that four right there inside the text message is a variable because you might be opting people in to send them eight text messages a month. Or you might be opting, you're only going to send them two messages a month, whatever. Okay, this is where you put the link that goes in the, M the MT, the mobile terminator, or the text message sent when somebody types their mobile number in the app. So here they can link this to anywhere they want to. They can link to their own mobile site. They can link to their real estate listings. You can link right to your mobile site, right to the page that talks about virtual business cards if that's where you want to start people. But so that, that right there is the text message that somebody gets when they... Uh, when they type their mobile number in. So they type their mobile number in your app and they get a text message. Name, email address, phone number, or name, company, phone number, email address, and then where do you link them to? What is that short URL that they click? On their phone, right? This is the one that's on their phone. That's the URL that goes right in this here. So if I want them to go to my mobile website, then here I would put in, you know, the link to... Uh, my mobile site, whatever that happens to be. Okay, now I hit update virtual business card. Now what happens here is it opens up my second card, which has all my other options and the ability to customize my logos and everything else. So I go in here, upload my uh, image that goes across the top, the top of my page. Here's where I upload my app icon. So I drop an app icon in there. 
And that can be for, you know, any company. This could be the real estate logo and the real estate app icon. Now I can customize what it actually says on the page. So here's what it says by default, right? You upload the logo, my virtual business card, type in your mobile number below to receive my information and get vCard now, right? You can customize all of these fields super easy. So my, I could change this to my personal V card and type in your, I could say mobile number below to receive a message with my contact details. And I could say submit and send V card. Now I just change that of, of what that looks like. Okay, here's my lead captures or not lead captures. These are actually lead notifications. If I put my mobile phone number in here, or the phone number of the virtual business card app holder. That means when somebody types their mobile number into the app, they get a text message back with their information. Um, so let me walk you through that real quick. So this is my virtual business card. A customer comes and types their mobile number in my phone. They get a text message with my information but I get a text message with their mobile phone number if I put my phone number right in here, right? Or I can put my email address here and then I would get an email notification if they type their mobile number in my phone. So this is not lead capture, this is lead notification. Down here, VCF download, this is optional. If I click this button, then it automatically sends a second text message that delivers that uh, VCF file right to the phone. So by checking that box, it automatically creates this second text message. And it can't be modified. This is exactly what it's going to say. And it's going to have a link. And when they click that link, it's going to download the file that they can then save into their phone. Okay? And so that's optional. You don't have to use that if you don't want to, but by clicking that, you can. Finally, this link button is what you want to link to from your phone. For some people, it might be your back office. For some people, it might be a presentation. It might be a video, whatever it is. You might have your one video that you want to show people on your own phone, and you want to link to it quickly. For us, we like to link to our demo app. So a lot of times, we'll type in here whatever the link to our uh, whatever the link to our demo app is, and I don't have it handy, but and then we put demo app on our or demo apps or whatever we want to put for the button name. Okay, we save the appearance. So once we save it, now this is what, once it flips over here, it takes just a second. This is what my V card is going to look like when I open it up on my phone. And the first time I open it up, it gives a notification to save the app icon. And it's got the logo at the top, whatever I modified this to say, whatever I modified this to say, number of messages per month right down there. I modified submit and send V card right there. That's the mobile phone number field. And that links to whatever I wanted it to link to, right? And in our case, I said demo apps. But for some people, it might be their, their own listings. For some people, it might be a video. This is what sits on your own phone. Now, the user that is logged in. So if I am logged into my account, I go over here to my virtual business card. I click that a uh, link button, I can actually click that and it'll send a text message with this link right to my phone. And so if I just click that, it sends a text, it says an SMS has been sent to this user, it sends me a text message right to my phone, I click the link, save the app icon to my home screen, done. And I've got the app on my phone. I can click this and email it to myself and it'll shoot an email to me that says, here's the, uh, you know, that's got the link in it that I can save that URL. Or I can just copy the link and text it to whoever, and then they open it up on their phone, and they've got, the, and it's their virtual business card, or it's my virtual business card. Now someone comes in, types their mobile number in on my phone, boom, it works. All right, so that's half of the virtual business card builder. There's one more piece to it. So now the person has created their virtual business card, because you got them a new account, they logged in, they put in all their information, they put in their company logo, they customized this or you helped them customize it or whatever the case may be. And now they've built up some people in their database. Now they're ready to send a message out to their database. Well, they go in here, they don't have marketing platforms, so they can't go in and create a blast, but they go to vCard and they go to campaign panel 
and hit create new. Now they can type in whatever the name, you know, I've got a party uh, coming up this weekend or whatever. And so here they, you know, talk about the party. They say, you know, um, this is John. We are having a party this weekend with guest speaker, blah, blah. Click here for more. And they can link right to their mobile website if you, you know, enable their mobile website and now they're linking right or they're saying hey we just got a new product update click here and see it or if this is your own virtual business card you can send out a text message to everybody in your database that says hey we just released a new uh, virtual business card builder click here and read more about it and then if you've got 2,000 people in your virtual business card database you can send that message out to them and they see what the new release is right so now you've created the message now you can send it to a group and the group would be, uh, you can select which group you want to send it to based on what groups are available. If you just have one virtual business card, then it's just going to be one group. Or you can send to an individual, and you go through, and it's sorted by opt-in date, and it's got the phone numbers on it. And so I can just click one person. If I'm just sending it to one person, it only allows for immediate delivery. If I'm sending it to multiple, multiple people or one of my groups, then I can schedule the delivery for the exact date and time that I want to send it. So February... Uh, 18th at you know 9 a.m. whatever time zone right and hit save then it'll schedule out for that group so a very easy blasting campaign for people that have V card only and that's the concept behind it that's for people that have V card only now a couple notes about this um, we are currently working on um, a new marketing uh, a, a new marketing platform so. Uh, it's the last thing left in our responsive design of our application for the most part. Um, and, you know, it's obviously going to be a lot better than um, what it is today. Uh, but that's in our, in our, in our current workflow. Um, you guys, um, I lost my train of thought of where I was going with that. But let me go back here and we'll jump in and take a look at some of the rest of this. What was I going to tell you about that? How did I? I just went. I just had a. Oh, that's weird. Oh, oh, I know. I know. I know. I know. Okay. So the one one thing to note here: you've got a hard cap on any one account to only have five V cards per account. That's the cap, hard cap. You can't have more than five V cards in an account. The problem with uh, with it is is that it'll slow an account down, and when you go to log in and modify a virtual business card. You, it, if you get more too many keywords and too many campaigns into one account, it won't. You you just it'll slow the account down too bad. So you can't put like 50 V card accounts in one account. So for the most part, when you're creating people, you will create them a new account and they'll have one V card in their account or maybe two or three, but they won't have 20. If you've got a sales organization that you're selling to that's got 50 um, people in it, they'll need you know. Uh, at least 10 accounts to be able to manage their virtual business cards because uh, otherwise it'll slow it down too bad. Um, that's just one thing to keep in mind. Um, the other thing to keep in mind is you, everybody has vCard enabled in their account right now, um, but you probably want to actually create a demo account or use it in an account that doesn't have a bunch of keywords in it so that it doesn't slow down because if you put it in your main marketing center and you've got like 20 demo accounts in your in your in your regular marketing center on your core account on your regular demo account it may not work all that great inside of your account so if you're demoing it for other people you want to show it in a new in like a brand new account kinda like I did so what I did was I created an account called vcard demo and that's the account that I log into to actually show people because it's only got a few virtual business cards in it and it doesn't have anything else in it. So it moves really fast and looks, you know, looks really good and it's easy to show. So that's that's the way that we do it. So I'm just going to tell you that. So, you know, um, and then again, we're working on improvements to that including the speed and everything else. So now you we all utilize virtual business cards now we can use the new one so that way we can send the VCF file. Um, that link at the bottom 
for us takes them typically we take ourselves right to our demo pages where we can select whichever demo we want as we're standing there talking to a hair salon mm -hmm. person click that one and then send them a text message that takes them right to our mobile website where it's got lots of great information on it um, now when I, I probably want to create another page on my mobile website that has virtual business cards on it and talks about the new virtual business cards and then when I'm standing there talking to somebody, because this is what happens inevitably, is that I'm standing there talking to somebody. I send them my virtual business card. They get the text message on their phone. They click the link, and they're looking at my mobile website, and they're looking at all this different stuff. They ask me, man, I'd really like to have one of those. Well, that's a perfect opportunity to close them right this second. And if I've got a page on my mobile website that says, virtual business cards and they can click that and then it takes them right to the uh, right to a hosted sign up page where it shows them you know hey you know sign up right now for um, no setup fee and $9.99 a month and they could by now put in their credit card information and it automatically generates their account right um, that is a great way to be able to uh, get additional people, deliver your information right to their phone, and get additional accounts, right? We, some of you have seen this slide before from a previous uh, presentation, but I thought I'd show it again. You know, there's so much opportunity out there with people increasing their investment in mobile, understanding mobile better. The numbers out there, you know, today are even better than they were a year ago in terms of why people need a mobile-first strategy. When Forbes is coming out and saying it, Google's coming out and saying it. You look at the email open rates. There's so much that tells us that every business out there needs to go out and use their sales force and build mobile databases of people to be able to grow their business. And if they're not doing that, they're going to be, mm -hmm. uh, they're just not growing the way they should be. I mean, that's the bottom line. They're not investing where they should be, right? There's approximately 100,000 businesses in any regional metropolitan area wherever you are there's more than a hundred thousand businesses in out of those businesses there a large percentage of them 60 70 percent of them will be using something related to what we do and what you can provide them today in the next two years if you get out there and start calling on them seriously and focusing time and effort you can grow a massive business this is just like the merchant services industry five years ago, 10 years ago. This is just like the email marketing industry has been. That hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of companies will build up client bases, a client base of 1,000 or 2,000 or 5,000 people. And in three years, when you have that client base built up, you can sell that client base to two, for $2 million or $4 million or $10 million to somebody that's going to, going to gobble up market share. People want market share because they'll have other ancillary products and services to sell to that client base, plus they've already got a built-in residual revenue stream. People will buy the business if you can build it. Do you want to build something that you can sell, that is really sellable? Do you want to actually invest your time and energy and effort into growing something that's big? This is a great opportunity to do that. The, the timing has never been better. And it starts, you can start it with virtual business cards. And now that we've got the virtual business card app builder, think of everybody that you personally know. You know, any business owner, anyone in sales, any direct sales, MLM, network marketing company person, insurance agents, auto dealers, realtors. You guys have 50 of these people on your Facebook page. You know, you can, you personally, if you go through your own phone, you'll find, you know, 30 people that are just like this, that they could use this tool. Now turn around and sell it to them. Sell it to them for, you know, $9.99 a month, $12.99 a month, uh, maybe $19.99 a month and include a mobile website with it, right? That'd be fine. Um, you know, simply selling a virtual business card and a mobile website to a couple people a week for a whole year is more than $1,600 a month. Uh, uh, in net revenues. Well, mm -hmm. you talk about what, you know, and it's easy. You just give them your virtual business card. They click the link. It takes them right to a page that tells about the uh, uh, virtual business cards and you talk to them about it. And then they can click buy now and sign up for $9.99 a month or $12.99 a month or 
or $19.99 a month or whatever it is. With our hosted sign-up pages, you can create whatever plan you want. So it can be $24.99 a month. You can, whatever price you want, you can sell it to the map. But it's a great starter. It's a great start to, um, you know, to have a conversation with somebody and get them started with something really simple. And then once you've actually got the conversation and you're actually building up for them, you can then, uh, of course, um, you know, upsell them on other pieces of it, or, or maybe they take it to their owner of their business and they've got 200 salespeople and you sell it to them. There's an opportunity here to grow your distribution with this tool because anytime you're having a conversation with somebody, the question that we need to start asking is not, you know, can we potentially do a deal with this mom and pop, but what association are they, that mom and pop affiliated with? If it's a, I don't want to just sell one business card to the guy that works for this trucking company and does sales for the trucking company. I want to talk, I want to give him my virtual business card, get him interested in it, and then get a conversation with his boss because they have 250 salespeople. And I can give all 250 people, uh, 250 of the salespeople, a virtual business card right now. And, you know, that that's finding distribution. It's finding uh, somebody else. Finding distribution is even better if you can find somebody that actually sells to those sales organizations. And there's people that do sell to those sales organizations. And a deal could certainly be put together to take our virtual business card product to them. So that's something, something to think about. And I just thought I would bring that up again. You know, certainly you want to go out and get scale. Uh, this is my last piece. I just want to reiterate to everybody that, you know, even if you're closing people for a modest plan, $100 setup fee, $39 a month, um, you know, after your hard costs in, in the program, um, you know, let's say we upsell somebody on a mobile website app for, you know, uh, another $200, you know, we can close one client and net profit $400 when you show them the stats that I showed you at the beginning of this conversation. You know, I can close somebody to invest $400 today in something when I show them that I can make them $2,000 extra dollars per month four months from now. That's, you have to stress the growth of new customer acquisition and the growth of additional transactions. And when you stress that, then you can actually close people for money. You don't need to give away free accounts. If you're out there giving away free accounts or free trial accounts, you're not doing this right. Sell value, long-term growth, database growth, show the numbers of why mobile is so much more powerful, and close these people for real dollar figures. If you close just five clients in the next 30 days, that's $2,100 of gross revenue if you do it in the, in the manner that I'm telling you. How do we do that? Well, we quit sitting around and playing on Facebook for three, you know, for 30 minutes a day. We quit um, writing long emails that nobody reads because we already know that. And we actually start calling, getting decision makers on the phone. If we just make 50 phone calls tomorrow, speak with 48 decision makers, we'll, we're going to have two or three good appointments. Even while we're on the call with them for the first time, we can send them a quick demo to their phone. What is our sales model currently? What is a good appointment setting strategy? You want a, a new one? You know, when you call somebody, you get them on the phone and you get a decision maker on the phone. You say, John, hey, you know, uh, we work with businesses on mobile first strategies, just like Forbes has said, just like Google has said. But it's very, very simple. It's literally you're looking your customers in the eye every single day and you can acquire their mobile phone number. They'll give you permission to send them a coupon. And just by doing that, we can build 4000 maybe 5000 maybe $8,000 per month in revenue in your pocket on a monthly basis by building some databases. That's what we do. Have you seen mobile coupons before? Have you seen uh, how, uh, have you ever used a, a Groupon before? Any of those kinds of questions is a great lead off question on one of these phone calls. I already said I'm going to make them a bunch of money, and then I ask them a simple question like that. Here, look, you've never, you've never seen a mobile coupon? Let me send one. I'll send one right to your phone. Um, you want to see one? He goes, sure. And I say, okay, cool. Give me your mobile number. I'll send it right to your phone. And they'll give you the mobile phone number. Boom, you send it to their phone. Now he's looking at it. Now you're talking about it. That's on the very first phone call. It's a great way to start a conversation with people. Um, and you can send it right from your app. So if you're doing this, you're speaking with 48 decision makers on a daily basis, you're booking two or three appointments, you are 
going to be growing your business quickly. Out of every two or three appointments you set, you should be closing about 40% of them. 22 working days in a month, that's eight to 13 new clients that you're closing. This leads to a six digit income very, very quickly. Okay, um, any one person, any one location business, even one location business, will it upgrade if you put in the right program, you get them a kiosk, they're sending more messages on a monthly basis, and your net profit on a an average client, now remember one out of four, one out of five clients is going to be a five location place or a 10 location place or a bigger sales organization. Your average client's gonna be over $96 per month. So if you've got uh, eight new clients per month that you're closing and eight new clients per month that you're closing and the average net of your residual of your of your current base of clients is bringing you ninety six dollars per month on average. That means in just six months you're bringing in four thousand per month net residual. Plus the eight new clients that you close, if you're following the model on a consistent basis, brings your total up over seven thousand dollars a month net with just one salesperson. You don't have to do anything with the back end. You don't have to do anything with, um, you know, anything besides going out and building your business. And if you do this for even the next four months and prove your model, then you can go out and maybe get some other people that could help you and grow it faster. And this is what people have done in merchant services. They figured out something that worked, a good call strategy, a good sales strategy, a good price strategy. And they went out and found, you know, 10 people that helped them grow it. Actually, they went out and found two people at first and they grew it a little bit bigger. And then a year later, they had five people, and then they had eight, and then they had 10, and they had 25 people selling, and they sold their business for $5 million. And that's what you can do over the next three to four to five years. We've got great new technology coming, lots of ancillary products and services you can sell, but this is the exact right time to go out and start proving a model and actually closing some business, and you need to get out there and start doing it. You know, plus, you can always provide merchant services to your companies as well. You can go through us. It's very simple. At the end of any presentation, you're closing somebody, you know, and they're like ready to go. You say, great. You know what? I'll, I'll actually take another $25 off your setup fee today if you just give me your last two months of merchant service statements, your credit card statements, and we'll send those off, and, and uh, we'll be able to save you money there too. So it'll probably pay for the whole service for you. And now you're building up an extra residual revenue stream because uh, we close them for merchant services. And now you get a residual check from us for uh, those for um, their credit card transactions on a monthly basis too, or their donations or whatever else it is. Thank you all for tuning in. I will stay on and answer some questions. I'm going to shut down the recordings, but I'll stay on and answer questions. You can uh, text those in and I'll answer them verbally. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're leaving, tell me bye on your way out. I'd appreciate it. And go in and, and create a new account. And when you create your new account, uh, inside the platform, enable you know vCard only, or vCard and mobile website, and use that for your demo account to show vCards off. And um, uh, by the way, price-wise, I don't think I mentioned that um, you have one vCard included on your account with the new vCard builder. Um, any additional vCards are just like uh, are 50 cents per vCard. So that's something that's how you're going to price it. You're going to take that into consideration. So if you pay three fifty an account, fifty cents a V card, your hard cost for a new V card account would be four dollars, right? Um, you might sell that for nine ninety nine a month and include a hundred virtual business cards. You've still got a hundred percent markup on that, and that's still a really reasonable price. You can sell two V cards for thirteen ninety nine a month, and so they get two V cards in their account or three V cards or five V cards in their account, it's only 50 cents per V card. So keep that in mind. I don't think I covered pricing on that earlier. All right. Thank you guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'll stay on to answer questions.